Hi Rust developers and welcome to this new ROS projects video. If you want to learn anything about ROS, this is your channel. You can learn about navigation, about drones, about autonomous cars, everything ROS. You can find it here and you can find videos that teach you step by step very basic concepts from very basic concepts to very high quality and quite demanding in topics so you'll find practically any topic in our channel so please check it out and you'll be surprised of how much you'll learn in just 10 or 30 minutes so just before we start if you want a more guided experience uh, I highly recommend you that you visit that you visit our Robot Ignite Academy where you find you will find courses about ROS on many subjects no installation required and you will be able to use simulations without any installation whatsoever so you'll find uh, a link in the video description and without further ado let's get started so where did we leave it the the last day so we left it that we had our cube we had it moving and we wanted to start using OpenAI for this. Okay, what's the first step? To use a OpenAI, a, a reinforcement learning algorithm, for example, what do we need? So the thing is that we need to know what systems are available and how can we move the robot? How can we actuate it? Basically, what we need to define at first is a kind of gamepad to control our robot with our QLearn algorithm for, from one side. And on the other side, we need sensors to know where is it going? What's, what's happening? Is it falling? Is it moving? Is it there? So we need those two concepts. So for that, we're going to create a package that does exactly this. So if you go here and you click on IDE, you'll get a window more or less like this. And uh, we're going to create a package inside Catkin workspace. Okay, the simulations in ROS Development Studio, it's you don't you don't have to put the things in different workspaces but simulations have to go here if you want it to work but you could put all your code inside simulations if you wanted but for being concise and also to be to have the concept that one thing is the simulation and the other one is our ai algorithm we will create it in catkin workspace okay so as you can see in simulations we have our moving cube that we did in the past video okay so we won't touch that except one tiny detail that I changed which is if you go to the URDF okay I'll show you this one that we're going to use but it's basically the same here in um, in how to get the sensors so how to get odometry and how to get um, yeah basically how to get odometry you need to specify the robot namespace this will publish a topic of odometry with this namespace before okay yeah fair enough you have all the code in the description with the gits and so on so don't worry if you don't get everything but basically we need that why because if we go here and we do a rough topic rough topic list you see now that we have moving cube joint states and we have moving cube autumn moving cube autumn is the one published by this plugin okay so that's how we get the odometry yeah inside our cube so 
once this is clear um, I think it's now we can go back to our objective so we go to Catkin workspace and inside it we're going to create a package like this one just like this one okay so let's let's do it so let me go here clear this and there we go now we go to Catkin workspace source and we're going to create a package so catkin create package which we are going to call my moving cube training package just to be oh, let's let's create it inside sorry let's do moving cube training yeah and here we're going to do a uh, catkin create package my and then exactly the same name just to be original okay and rospy there we go okay let's go so we now if we do a refresh So once we have this, we now create a folder, script, and inside it we are going to create a script to test all the things needed for our first step in reinforcement learning. So let's have a look at the example. Let's go here. and. Basically, what we are going to do, we are going to create a class that will allow us to move the robot and get all the sensory data. So, you can see here already what are we going to do, but let's have a look here to the simulation. So, we have a cube. How do we know that the first thing we have to get data about is of the cube? the state of the cube that's very important for reinforcement learning you have to know exactly or more or less how your cube your robot is in the simulation is it for example the this wheel spinning is the cube upside down has it moved in space all these and all these questions have to be answered by the state the state is like the photograph all the data that you need to position the cube as you want in the simulation in the state that you want moving rotating anything okay so that's the state so for that we have not a lot of sensors really so lost topic list so clock gazebo we don't we we can't use this because in a real robot we we wouldn't have this data then we have this command which is the topic that we use to move the robot wheel so the the red wheel here yeah so give it speed so that's our input that's our gamepad but where where are all the data where where is all the data for this so we have this joint states which defines what exactly let's let's have a look so ross topic echo uh, moving cube joint states let's publish only one there you go so here we have information about the cube what exactly where we know the position of the wheel which makes no sense we have the velocity which makes real sense which is basically zero the wheel is not moving and then the effort that it's doing which also is zero because it's not moving okay this from here we can get the speed of the wheel very important to know if the wheel is moving or not that's basic 
Okay, one more. So the other one is Ross Topic Echo, the moving cube autom, which is the odometry. In this case, um, this is like we're not cheating, but in in reality you would need GPS, for example. That's the the most close closest thing that you would have inside a, a cube a closed cube because probably you wouldn't have cameras or it wouldn't be easy to put a, like six cameras and do mapping you could do it but the most basic and closest to this is a gps a very precise gps or a positioning system or some kind of just coordinates and orientation that would be basically the IMU that would give you the orientation and the position would be GPS okay so here we have position very good that it's based on which frame world perfect that means that we are referenced to the world and now we get the orientation which is the orientation of the cube and world which in the IMU would be exactly the same so good that's good very good and this we don't need it really we could use it it's just the speed and so on we're not going to use that but we could so we have all these options to define the state of our robot perfect now that we have this defined let's do a class and I'll introduce some concepts on reinforcement learning and what you need okay so, uh, I think, yeah, let's just, yeah, let's just copy this and we're going to put here, like, new file, which is um, cube lt utils, exactly the same, dot pi close this and open this one there we go okay so let's go step by step and see what we are going to do so the first thing is what are we going to do what test are we going to do so we want to do a test which is basically activating so let's let's go over this we initialize node good we initialize a class okay we don't know what this class does but okay then we move the joints to a speed which one 100 that's very fast but we need to spin very fast so that we have enough inertia to move the cube yeah then we wait for two seconds okay to stabilize it we could also read the speed in the joints and then when we get the speed then we could execute the next movement okay but we are going to do it very simple just to grasp the concept and also to get the functions right that we will need for the next video okay to access all these systems and data once we have the speed then we stop it and stopping it will make it move yeah. in one direction and then when we because we stop it then we activate it again to 100 then it will move again and then we stop it and then it will move again yeah to the opposite direction yeah you'll see it in a minute okay once we have this we now are going to get the state so how is our cube how is the state how did we leave it okay so this function will return us the cube state perfect so now we are going to get that state and calculate several things and in, in reinforcement learning very basic reinforcement is you have to know when the experiment has finished when the ep episode of learning has finished 
For that, we are using this, the observation checks. Basically, what it does is give you a done Boolean. Has the um, episode finished or not? That's it, based on some parameters that we'll decide now. And afterwards, we need a reward. This means that based on the state that we are, that these actions generated so we move the, the cube, we apply these actions, and we generate a state. And we say, okay, doing this makes my cube move to the left, end up to the left, or end up to the right, or end up in the same spot. Okay? And we have to give it a reward. So these actions are good. Did they do what I wanted? That the... That the that the cube did or not so that's the reward so basically we need the state and it gives a points for example if we wanted to move in one direction we will give more points if it moves in that direction and we will give less points if it stays in place yeah so let's have a look more or less how this works so Ross run uh, mm, first what we have to do is Ross city mm, my whoops no first thing is source they will set up the bash okay then Ross back profile then Ross city my moving cube exactly training package script okay then we have to do it executable cube then back again then ross run my cube training and then and execute it yeah, so let's execute. There you go. Zero, a hundred, and zero again. And then we calculate the stuff. Yeah, so we see here uh, blah, 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 blah. Where are we? Okay, so basically what we calculated was if if it's done which was false in this case and the reward which in this case is one one point okay how did it work well, how do we calculate this reward how we do, do we calculate this done or not done that's the next step and is the most important step because it will define the next video how we will define the open ai environment and how do we calculate how how do we recalculate the Q-learning algorithms and so on to learn. So it's this that looks very silly. It's one of the um, critical pieces of, of code that you have to do very well. Otherwise, if you don't have control over how the robot moves, the sensors, the state in general, you it's very difficult to make a robot learn. Okay, so this is really important now and I think that's why it so if you didn't like the video thumbs down but if you liked it thumbs up it, help, it helps a lot and consider subscribing to our channel we publish videos every day and I left all the all the information you need to reproduce this the git and so on and also a link to the courses in the description of the video down below and see you in the next video. Hasta la próxima.